Greetings beautiful beings and welcome back to the forest. If you are new here, my name is Cora and thank you so much for clicking on this video and spending some time with me. I am super excited for today's video because unlike my last few videos, I am just here sitting here without really a plan of how I'm gonna make this video. Usually I have a script. Usually I'm also doing stuff that requires a script, but I just really wanted to like sit and chat with y'all because I haven't uploaded in a while. Ooh. So the last video that I uploaded was Becoming That Girl. I'll have a tag or a link floating around the screen in case you haven't seen it. But before that one, the last time I uploaded was a month ago. And I shared a little bit on my Instagram and my Twitter what was going on in that time and what caused me not to upload but if you didn't see that also go and follow my Instagram and Twitter links are down below I had my laptop being fixed for almost an entire month so I wasn't able to edit videos and it was just kind of a, a lull in content for me but my laptop is fixed I am back I feel so like I don't know, ready to make content and excited for it. The sun is shining. I have so many ideas for videos that are going to come soon. So hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. But today's video, other than wanting to catch up with y'all and just have a little chat, I'm going to answer some questions and also some assumptions that I had you guys send me over on Instagram. Also, also, Today on June 16th at 2.22 p.m. there will be a new collection dropping on my website. It is my birthday collection. I'm actually wearing one of the new items. I just wanted to do a little collection for my birthday which is on the 21st of June. I will be turning 24 so I decided to release two new colors of the veils. It is this beautiful purple one as well as this light sky blue. They will be available in both the basic veil and the protection veil styles, so those are going up on my shop, as well as some limited edition candles that are in this absolutely gorgeous little teacup. It is like pearlescent, rainbow iridescent um, cup with gold hardware and the little candle is lavender with some silver fairy dust in there and it is a beautiful citrus and floral scent that I created. If you would like to get yourself one of the items from my birthday collection or check out any of the items on my store, all of my candles are on sale by the way. The link will be in the description and now let's just kind of roll with the punches and get on with this video. And by get on with this video, I mean just like have a little chat with y'all. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've done like a sit down video where I can just kind of like ramble and let my thoughts go and how's it going? How have you been? Um, how have I been? I've been good, honestly. What's going on in my life? Well, I had my laptop fixed, like I said. I'm still in school. I am almost done with spring quarter, thank goddess. I'm doing summer quarter, I'm doing three classes, so it's going to be a little bit more of a heavy workload since it's only six weeks as compared to, I think like 12 to 15 weeks as a normal quarter. But that'll be very fun. I'm just trying to get that ish out the way, if you know what I mean. But other than that, I've just been hanging out. I've been working really hard on myself. I've been working out a lot. I mentioned in my previous video, if y'all want to see like a workout routine or what I do for a workout, let me know down below because I'm down to do one of those videos. I've honestly fallen in love with working out and just like move in my body again it's so much fun and it feels so good and so rewarding so if that sounds interesting to you let me know also i already have multiple people asking me to do a guided meditation because in my last video i also did like a two minute little meditation in the middle um just talking myself and i think i will be doing that sometime in the future i need to like do some research and write it out and make sure that it flows well and it's you know what i want to present and what i would want in a guided meditation also because i'm very picky um definitely very picky 
Gosh, well, other than that, it's almost my birthday, like I said. Um, I've been posting more on the weed tube lately. I've been really loving doing like unedited smoke sessions because it's honestly just really easy to film, edit, and upload because I don't have to edit anything. So if you would like, link is down below. You already know that. Okay, I'm gonna get into some questions slash assumptions that you guys sent me over on Instagram. Originally, I had asked for assumptions because I wanted to do like a full assumptions video but I honestly didn't get that many we'll try again later I got a few so then I opened that up to questions also so now I have a good amount and I'm just going to go through them and we'll have a little chat about stuff okay I only have three assumptions so I'm gonna go over those first and then I'll get into the questions which I guess also could be considered assumptions but Either way. This first one is from a quiet brown girl and they said, you don't smoke as often as you used to. For frame of reference, I'm going to use the first half of my smoking years as my used to portion between 16 to like 19, 20 area. And I'm gonna have to say that that's false. When I first started smoking, I only did it on the weekends or at a sleepover with my friends. And now it is a daily ritual habit, habitual ritual. <laughs> So I definitely smoke more often now than I used to and that just has to deal with me being able to buy my own also um, and being able to smoke every day if I want to because I'm an adult. So the next assumption is from Art of Desi and they sent in four assumptions slash questions. Thank you so much. You are really pulling the weight for this one. So the first assumption is you like journaling. I'm gonna say that's true. I enjoy journaling even though I don't do it as often as I would like. I really enjoy writing and like drawing and doodling and like making a journal really pretty but I definitely don't do it every day because it's not something that I don't know, I haven't gotten into my habits um, yet. Uh, sometimes if I'm doing my daily tarot and I'll want to write something down from the spread that morning or my dream or something like that, I'll write in my journal, but I don't do it every day. The last assumption comes from hentai wraps. <laughs> and they assumed you've accidentally smoked cat hair in your wax or bud. That is completely true. I have 100% most definitely accidentally smoked cat hair in my wax or bud. I would probably say that I've done it more with oil because it's more sticky and I don't really smoke flour like in my home anymore around my cats. So I'm gonna say more with wax than bud, but if you have cats, if you're a cat owner, you totally understand that shit just gets everywhere and you know, it's not gonna harm you or is it? So like I said, there was only three assumptions. I really enjoyed doing that though. So if you want to see a full assumptions video, like this video, comment down below, follow me on Instagram because that's usually where I ask for questions or assumptions or video ideas, feedback. I'm on there a lot more frequently than I am in the YouTube comments, even though I read pretty much every single YouTube comment I ever get. So. I'm watching, I'm reading, even if I don't respond or like your comment, I see it and I cherish it. Thank you, I love you. Okay, let's move on to the questions, shall we? The first question comes from Mushworms and they asked, have you always lived in Washington State? Do you recommend living there? And I'm in Florida. I have always lived in Washington State. I was born and raised here and honestly, I love it so much. I'm pretty sure I'm going to settle down here in the future. I might move around a little bit, but this is definitely my home. My family is here. My partner's family is here. I absolutely love the nature and just the wide variety of nature in Washington. On the peninsula, you have a rainforest. To the east, you have like desert and then in the middle it's just beautiful right and then in the middle it's just beautiful forest and rivers and lakes and water and even though it's gray and rainy like 75 percent of the year the summers are absolutely beautiful oh my gosh it's gonna be 84 on my birthday and i'm gonna go swimming i'm so excited so i would definitely recommend living in washington or just anywhere in the pacific northwest like oregon or northern california it's just I don't know, something about this. It's so fresh and 
alive. I don't know how it's to explain. I, I don't know how. I, I'm. I don't know what. I don't know how else to describe it. I also don't know what the heck happened with my words there. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, the rest of the questions are coming from Art of Desi. Thank you again. So the first one is, what's been your most valuable lesson on your spiritual journey? I think it would have to be not judging people. Yeah. Everyone in your life is there for a reason, whether that reason be to inspire you and uplift you and create a positive experience or to show you how not to act and what not to do and how, you know, if maybe you did some things differently, how you could have ended up in their situation. And it's also um, very important not to judge people because you truly do not know what they are going through, what they have been through, and what they are dealing with mentally, physically, or spiritually. So it's none of our place to judge others, and that goes hand in hand with judging ourselves um, based off of others, comparing ourselves to people. Um, my camera is blinking red. Oh no. I'm really sorry if the camera angle changed. I just had to switch out my battery, but let's go ahead and move on to the next question. The next one is, are you into any specific kind of spell work these days? I think the most often spell work that I've been doing every day has been water work. So when I go into the shower, I will set an intention for the shower. I will cleanse my body with the water and I will imagine all of the water um, flowing away anything that I don't need. I have a really strong relationship with water. I love being around it. It feels like home, being in it, surrounded by it. I was born in the water and I'm also a Pisces and a Cancer, so I have a lot of water in me. <laughs> I mean, we're made up as water, but you know what I mean. I love water and it feels very cleansing to me, so I like to work with water. And recently I have been swimming again, which has been really nice to just kind of like clear away my energies and get me like fresh, new, and revitalized. If you don't have access to a swimming pool or you can't swim, taking long showers or taking baths are a great substitute. Okay, the next one is, can you talk about your experiences with the tarot? I'm super curious. So I think I did talk a little bit more in depth about my experiences with tarot in my tarot video. Card will be somewhere around the screen if you haven't seen it. But I started practicing tarot almost six years ago. I think tarot really found me. Um, when I was born, my grandmother made me a birth chart or had a birth chart made for me. And the woman that made it was a tarot reader and she pulled a tarot card for me. So I think it was always in my destiny to find tarot and once I started working with it, it just really clicked and felt like I was supposed to be working with it. I started out on a Rider White tarot deck, which I think is the best one to start or learn with because it is the most, I don't want to say basic because there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of symbolism in it, um, but it's not taken to an artistic level where that symbolism is lost or you need to have a lot of experience with the cards to fully understand them. After I felt comfortable with the Rider White, I bought myself a few other decks and even found the same deck that the woman pulled cards from at my birth. And I got one of the cards, the one she pulled for me at my birth, tattooed on my leg. I have a tattoo video if you wanna go and check that out and see that but I bought that deck for myself. It's called the Cosmic Tarot deck and I use it every day. I feel like it is just my deck. I feel like it doesn't belong to me, but it called to me and it wants to work with me. It, you know, wants me to pull my tarot and be the best version of myself. Okay, the last question is a pretty simple one to leave lighthearted on and it is how many plants do you have? Hold on, I gotta think about this one sec. 
I have 11 plot plotted I have 11 potted plants and then in the flower garden outside I planted almost 100 sunflowers a bunch of wildflowers daisies lupine and cat grass so I have a bunch of plants outside but I only have 11 in my home that are potted and I love them to death <sighs> well I don't really want to end this video but I don't really have anything else to say so I'm going to have to, but I'm very happy that I did film this and I am very excited to be posting more regularly for you all. Look out in the next week, I will be having a yoga video come out that I'm very proud of. Again, if you would like anything from my birthday collection or would like to check out any of the other items in my shop, the link is down below and I would so appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, do all of the things or don't. I'm not your mother. Okay, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for spending some time with me, you all. I love you and I hope you have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Goodbye.